is it true? Of course it's true that um that after the fact you guys got your deals all the new people uh-huh. and it was like they're gonna pay you the least amount of money that they legally can to be a principal cast member. <laughs> but then after the fact and after the movie came out, they came to you and said, "Hey, we're gonna give you guys participation in the back end." Um. Okay. So I don't know what everyone else's discussions were because again, my situation was different. I wasn't like from the beginning. I didn't know I was an official cast member so the 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 payments i were receiving were just like i wasn't sag yet so they just paid me a certain amount every two weeks and as a comedian i'm just stoked to 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 Uh see it and i'm just stoked to be working so to me it didn't seem like out of the ordinary i also didn't have reps when i i booked jackass on my own so like i didn't have to cut Uh anyone 20 percent or anything so again like i was just stoked to be working um (coughs) at the end when um, when we kept getting word that the movie release was pushed back, there was a conversation. Were you on the call for that one? I don't think so. Oh. They, I, mean, I remember when they, they had like uh, one call for OG cast <laughs> and one call yeah, for... Yeah, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, there was a conversation with all of us where... Um, they, they announced that they, it wasn't going to be October. It was pushed to February. Yeah, and that was like, man, I mean, after... Like for us you guys are you guys are all it's okay when it comes out it comes out but for us new cast members i mean this is like the beginning of the rest of our careers of our lives like the pandemic hits we need some good news and when they came to us and told us it was going to be like another six months it was just like oh my god what are we going to do you know Mm. it was so funny on our call it was just the og guys and uh spike and um tremaine and like whoever's speaking, like that's the what the screen shows. It was so funny because uh, Tremaine says like they, they're, they're pushing the release date to February, and and then all of a sudden the screen turns into Dave England going no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then the screen becomes me. I'm like Dave, what are you talking yeah. about? I was like, the, you know the the the, the trailer's out. Yeah. Like, there's a big buzz around it, and. This, the second this movie mm-hmm. comes out, it's old news mm-hmm. and we're washed up has again. No, you're right. It actually ended <laughs> up, it, that was the beautiful part is in retrospect, it ended up working out in our favor, yeah. like in way, in so much better because there was so much more promotion. It like people felt like, you know, it, 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 there was a buzz around the whole right. thing. And I was like, as soon as it comes out, we're over like old news. By by delaying the release to like you know months down the road, we're extending this period of time that we're like hot shit that has a, a buzz around us. Right. And uh, and then and then you see Spike. He's like, wow, I never thought of it that way. And then you see Tremaine. I need everybody to be on their best behavior. Yeah, that's the. Way. I honestly think that's the most. That <laughs> but poopies has six months more to not fuck this up. No, I mean honestly, like it, it, it ended up working out um, for all of us, and and it was like such a nice surprise. Any extra information that we got about you know financial. For sure. So again, like I'm just grateful, and yeah, I mean, I was, I was, I'm just stoked to. I mean, yeah, I heard that it was like after the fact, after I think maybe even after the movie came out and they said like, hey, we're going to we're going to we're going to give you guys participation in Um, the back. That was before. Actually, that was before the movie came out. But it was during that call when they said they were going to push it. Uh, I think to keep us from not killing ourselves. um, Rachel's like, wait, what? I was like, (laughs) people are getting participation points. Well, I I just I, (laughs) I didn't I didn't I didn't I just was stoked. I just right. was stoked. Well, I know, and I, I just I bring that up because I was personally really impressed and happy to hear that. You know, like yeah. you know, the, over the years, going back to the beginning, like you know, try, trying to get paid, it, like it, it wasn't a real mm-hmm. easy thing. You yeah, know? and uh, for them to offer that up to you guys when they really didn't have to, like I, I just wanted to. Uh, to tell them like guys that's fucking cool of you and I'm well glad. i mean of course like we've heard the stories about how you know how it was before and right like 
it is different now and we are a new cast and we we do have it different than you guys and in a sense of like how things are just because we're the new generation and you kind of like laid it down sure. you know like <clears throat> paved the path for us so you did it's almost like being the firstborn you know the second the baby kind of gets you know treated a little bit better mm -hmm. um and so my experience has only been positive like throughout the whole thing i have nothing bad to say like about anything well, sure. that happened not that like you were implying that or anything but it's i think in hollywood it's so rare to have that experience especially on an all-male cast right being the only female you know well yeah and and gender aside the reality is that you know people would line up for miles to be able to be in a jackass movie mm -hmm. you know like i get a lot of submission tapes <laughs> <laughs> you could yeah. you could argue that there's like so many people would want to be in a jackass movie regardless of whether they got paid that it's almost like they don't have to pay right. people to be in it well and that's so, that's totally like i mean coming from a comedy place like we do a lot of stuff for free in the beginning yeah and, and that's what i'm saying like i was just even shocked that i was even my name was thrown in the hat for this because you know i'm not a pro skater i don't have that background right. my background is comedy which is what you guys do so you know like i still can't believe even to this day that i was able to be a part of it so i am still very stoked on it and it's still very cool to me and that i hope that i hope that shine never dims you know for sure <laughs> no i think it won't you have a great attitude Thank you. everyone's super stoked and and uh you know, you, you you earned the spot. I mean, everybody earned it. And, you know, like I said, they didn't even have to give you anything. And, and they did. And yeah. I, I was really impressed. By yeah. That. So it's, you know, and I, yeah, I, I, I just feel really good about the whole thing. So I think that clip was awesome, but not as awesome as my new book, A Hard Kick in the Nuts, What I've Learned from a Lifetime of Terrible Decisions, which is out September 27th. And if you pre-order it right now, you can get the autographed copy. So get on it, man. Pre-order my book. It's not going to waste your time because I'm proven, dude. New York Times bestseller. My first book's five-star rated on Amazon. And I have no doubt this one will be too. So get the autograph copy right now by pre-ordering it at stevo.com. Yeah, dude.